Dear parents, faculty, students, and guests, on behalf of the entire faculty and staff of the American School of Kosovo, I welcome you this evening. I welcome you to the commencement ceremony for the graduating class of 2019. We can have a round of applause for them. This has been an amazing year. This has also been an amazing day. Just yesterday, we had 60% chance rain, thunder clouds, and we had a fountain of water coming down into the amphitheater. And the operations team hooked up the fire hoses inside our cafeteria and cleaned out the area. The entire team has been working yesterday, this last week, and this entire year for us to have our first commencement ceremony here. This is a little bit of a metaphor. We have this beautiful day, really not a cloud, only a drone in the sky. It is a metaphor for us because over this last year, the entire staff of Asaka, thank you, <laughs> it got a little bit quiet. The entire faculty and staff of Asaka, we worked so hard and challenging every part of who we are. Our organization, of our systems, planning, to create this beautiful school, to create a place where our graduates would be proud to be leaving. I'm so proud of this entire faculty and staff and what we've accomplished. And I thank everyone here for all of your personal, unique contributions. So I want to give our entire community a round of applause. The class of 2019 is composed of 61 students who have developed the basic skills necessary to earn the American Diploma. They have also earned the Ministry of Education of Kosovo Diploma. Many of these students speak at least two languages fluently. Many are excellent in math and other subjects. All of them have learned how to meet project deadlines, to go without sleep, to, have, to meet their personal goals, to organize events, discuss problems together, and have the courage to express their own unique opinion clearly. Looking at these graduates beside us, I see five students who will be going to universities in Turkey, Four students will be going to university in the Netherlands. Three who will be going to universities in the United States. Three who will be going to universities in England. Two who will be going to the Czech Republic. One who will be going to university in Romania. One who will be going to a university in Germany. One who will be going to the university in Italy. One who will be going to a university in Greece. One who will be going to a university in Croatia. 10 students who will be going to AUK RIT. 18 students will be studying at different universities through Kosovo. And 10 are still trying to figure it out. Students in this class will be studying aviation, interior design, fashion design, international trade, mechanical engineering, business and management, medicine, political science and international and European law, English language and literature, hotel management, computer science, literature and creative writing, PE, and enrolling in the Kosovo security forces. Pretty remarkable diversity. Graduates, I believe that you have developed the skills you need to be leaders 
in the field of your choosing, in your community, and anywhere in the world you choose to go. In the next year, I am sure you are, will be faced with many more challenges than you can imagine or expect, similar to what it took for us to move into this building. There will be surprises that challenge you. It will take persistence. You will have to be patient. Things don't happen, good things don't happen overnight. So I would like to invite you to consider this quote by this inspirational American writer, John Ward, who said, your mind can focus on fear, worry, problems, negativity, or despair. Or it can focus on confidence, opportunity, solutions, optimism, and success. You decide. Graduates, please know that wherever, whatever you have decided are your next steps. We are proud of you. We bless you this evening and the path ahead you choose. <laughs>